The right way to handle water has to be learned. In Galandala, the children learn it at school, along with mathematics, reading and writing. Using chlorine is still one of the main methods to get water free of germs, but one has to know the right dose. Learning by doing. A very simple and not very well known method is called sodis. Transparent bottles are filled with water and placed in the sun for six hours. The ultraviolet rays kill the bacteria. This is what untreated water looks like under a microscope. The colored, and therefore visible, germs are responsible for a lot of diseases. The public well plays a key role. There are no water pipe systems in rural areas and very few families have a well of their own. And because a lot of households use public wells, the quality of this water is even more important. It needs to be inspected regularly. There is a powder, uh, so uh, if we t uh, test our water, we have to use our uh, hands first. Uh, hands uh, washed first uh, and uh, fill the water to this uh, arrow level, red arrow level and should close the lid safely and dissolve this powder. If there is no any bacteria or germs in the water, uh, we can see the result as same in the initiation. We, after we fill the uh, bottle with the water and dissolve it, the color is yellow, yellow, pale yellow. So uh, the color is remains same after two days but uh, if there is bacteria and germs uh, the color gets black so we can identify the water is not safe to drink tests like this are simple and not expensive bacteria can be made clearly visible something that used to be only possible in a laboratory a cloth acts as a general filter so that leaves and insects cannot get into the jug. After the water has been drawn, the well is covered again with a cloth to keep out the main dirt. Water is often carried from remote wells. Water sellers bring water to the villages, but the quality is hard to judge. They fill the water into clean containers, but they don't use any filter, and there's no soap to wash their hands. And the longer the distance, the greater the possibility that the water will be polluted again. Dust from the streets and, during the rainy season, mud and dirt contaminate the canisters and the water on the way from the well to the households. 
For that reason, Malteser International promotes short water transports. मैं टैंकी पुरोगान ने वैसे लबिन में लावटे मैं वहाँ लाई मैं पी लाई इससे ला पीर सिद्धू करगानों ने निशा अभी मैं मैं पिया ना अरलती है ना वहाँ में लाव के दिमा इड पासे दी वहाँ लाई पी लाई है दुना के ला हितुना में मैं पिया ना वहाँ ला इड पासे दी आर आर बाटेंग वातुरे टैंकी टे आने डार पॉल कटवांगुरुई तिरिवानी गलुई इतनी वातुरे आनो कोटे इतने टे वातुरो की हिला ए बास कट्टे के हिलती है ना वा ए टे पास से दी इतनी वातुरो पिरसिदु वेला में टैंकी ए टे की हिला पिरसिदु वातुरो लबागान पुलवां ए वाके हम तमा यार उड़ा तीन ना पीए ना तीन ने में टैंकी ए पिरसिदु करना होने � Tulen puluan ni sa, me filter eh masa tu nak kita sariak pirsidu keran nona, tanki eh masa hari kita sariak pirsidu keran nona. Well, Maltese International and Lanka Rainwater Harvesting began this project in 2006. Uh, to date, we've built about uh, 1,700 tanks across the southern province. And at the moment, we're standing in a village called Nakulugamua, which is on the border between Matra and Gold districts. They don't have any piped water supply here from the National Water Board, so we've, uh, we've selected this site as uh, a potential area to promote rainwater harvesting. Yeah, actually, um, uh, first year of UNICEF Gold Sornopis was uh, mostly dedicated for tsunami emergency. And then the, uh, after that, we started mainly on uh, sustainable and development issues. And that's where we started our partnership with Maltesa International. Yeah, basically, we work together uh, very closely and with very good cooperation because uh, now uh, Maltesa has been identified as one of the reliable partners for UNICEF because um, uh, we have been uh, understanding uh, each other's uh, procedures um, uh, priorities and uh, way of uh, interacting with the local government. So as UNICEF uh, we uh, did not have much field staff uh, to attend those issues and that's where our cooperation and partnership with multi central helped us because they had uh, strong um, community mobilizations and also uh, technically sound people. Well, traditionally, open dug wells are um, this is the normal drinking water source for most of Sri Lanka, but there's been quite a lot of uh, interest in that, showing that they're very susceptible to um, groundwater contamination through nearby latrines. So we've looked at introducing rainwater harvesting as an alternative because there's quite a lot of rainfall in Sri Lanka and it's also it's not the most expensive technology to introduce. Um, by having the water source on site, it saves the family whether it's the mother or the children going to collect water from uh, the well and by having it on site as well they're more in control of its water quality as well so there's, it's not susceptible to, to groundwater contamination and groundwater movement it's only open to um, contamination from the roof <laughs> 